And welcome to all our visitors who are here. We are very delighted to have with us uh, the community from the White Sands Buddhist Center and especially to have the abbot with us once again who we had a wonderful visit with two years ago, I believe now. Two years ago. And I have asked uh, Mr. Ray Rivera to do an introduction for us today. So I'll introduce him and if you'll come on up, you can give a little introduction and then we'll proceed. And thank you all for being with us. This is San Pedro Center and we welcome you back at any time to visit. We have a beautiful 485 acres here that is owned by the diocese, Catholic Diocese of Orlando. So it is a place of beauty and we welcome you at any time to come and visit. And thank you for being with us this morning. Uh, good morning. It's uh, always my pleasure uh, to introduce uh, my teacher and uh, the Venerable Kai Ting. And uh, I just uh, was asked to do a short introduction, so I'll give you some background on uh, the Venerable. Uh, when we refer to Venerable, that is uh, a teacher in the Buddhist tradition that uh, has reached a higher level, almost uh, like a bishop or a cardinal in, in Catholicism. Uh, the, uh, the, the White Sands Buddhist Center is located on 22 acres, and uh, we're in Mims, Florida. Um, but uh, uh, without further ado, I wanted to say that uh, uh, our teacher um, earned his PhD in Southern California. Uh, he's also uh, an avid artist, uh, plays the piano somewhat, um, very interesting, and, uh, and we'll get into subjects very deeply. So with that, uh, uh, we refer to our teacher as Thai, and that's spelled T-H-A-Y, uh, translated from Vietnamese, that means teacher. So if you want to address um, the abbot by Thai, you may. So with that, uh, we'll Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, before I uh, introduce to you uh, topics on uh, an overview of Buddhism, uh, we'd like to have a song. Whenever I have happiness in this song, and uh, who can sing, who can hold the microphone? Michelle? Whenever I wake up, I feel happy Aware of my eyes I feel happy Aware of my health I feel happy Because I have learned To look deeply Yeah. 
thank you very much. Um, uh, thank you, um, Gloria and Director of uh, San Pedro Retreat, for inviting me here uh, to share with you some uh, teaching on uh, Buddhism. And uh, this is the second time <coughs> I have a chance uh, to be with you today. And so first, may I ask you a question? You come here uh, from the, the first time, are you a different student? Uh, first time. <laughs> so I will, it's easy for me to say the same thing last time. <laughs> to say something different. <laughs> so this is an overview of Buddhism. And uh, after uh, about 40 minutes uh, speech, if you have any question, you may ask me. So, <clears throat> Buddhism is one of the five world religions. Mm, in the include uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, uh, Christian, and Muslim. It defines world religion. So uh, if you study <coughs> about Buddhism, it's uh, a little bit uh, different from uh, the Western religion. So Buddhism from uh, India. Whenever we talk about Buddhism, in Buddhism, we got uh, three very important elements we call for the Buddha. The Dharma and the Sangha. In uh, Buddhist tradition, we call it the triple jewels or the three treasures. The Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha. First, who is the Buddha? Buddha is the fully enlightened one who transcended beyond the walls of defilement. In Sanskrit, we call it klesa or samsara. So let me explain to you a little bit about the term samsara. <coughs> you have the, the, the point, <coughs> samsara. Right here. Ah, samsara. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean, the samsara? In Christian <coughs> teaching, the times is a stray light from the death God create to the end day, the stray light. But in Buddhism, the Buddha explained to the world by a circle, the circle of life. It means we got the reverse life, present life, and the future life. And the samsara means a cycle. This means recycle, just go around, around. So we believe this life, we are human. And if we're doing good, we uh, live a good life, then the next life, we will respond in a higher level. Maybe we, we respawn in the heaven. Uh, in Buddhism, we also have heaven, a paradise, but everything is exactly like Christian. And if we do in bad, we will respawn in a low level. So we got um, devil, health, animal kingdom, angel, heaven, and higher. So it's, if, it's, it's very difficult for you to understand why a human reborn will be reborn maybe as a monkey. It's difficult understanding. But in Buddhism, we believe. Because in the, in the past time, the Buddha used to be a monkey in, in, in his past life. He told us he used to be a monkey. He used to be an elephant. He used to be a tiger. So, go to million, million of lives, and finally he reached enlightenment. So, the concept of times 
in Buddhism, inner circle. It means reveals present and future. So this is we call the samsara. So what is the Buddha? <clears throat> the Buddha in Buddhism we got a uh, different Buddha. But when we say the Buddha, it means the Sakya Muni Buddha. He was born born a prince in India. Uh, about the sixth century, maybe uh, five hundred years and five hundred and forty four years before uh, Christian uh, era. I mean uh, about six hundred years BC before Christian era. So the Buddha here is the historical figure. He a real person. A real person like us. He was born a human. And he go through the uh, birth, own age, sickness and death exactly like a human. But why we call him a Buddha? Because the Buddha is not a personal name. The Buddha means anyone who become enlightened, fully enlightened. And the concept of enlightenment in Buddhism, it means you break the circle of samsara. Break the circle of samsara. Another word we call uh, klesa in Sanskrit, it means defilement, affliction. A mental suffering, the mental uh, craving, hatred, and ill will. We call on uh, the three element: uh, craving, greed, hatred, and ill will. The three karma. So when you break or you liberate yourself from the circle of hatred, greed, greed, and ill will, you become fully enlightened. So it's very simple. When we may mention Buddha, mean the Buddha, the Sakyamuni Buddha in India, a person, a real person. This he has the whole history. And uh, a couple of years before, I have a chance to visit India. Uh, I visited uh, where he was born in Nepal, and uh, enlightenment in Deer Park, and Nirvana, and everywhere still there. So a real person. I will go deeper a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And Dharma, what is Dharma? Dharma is the teaching of the Buddha or the noble path to enlightenment. The way that leads you to enlightenment. So Dharma is